When uh, people ask me what I do for a living and I say I die for golf balls, they just look at me and say, yeah, right. <laughs> crappy golfer and that's how I got into it. I was golfing on the fifth hole in Wetaskiwin back at home and I ran out of all my golf, golf balls and I just jumped in and I found out there was about 150 to 200 golf balls. I just forgot about the game and I kept on collecting until the pro kicked me out. So I said hey why not start a company? The training need for diving, diving itself you should be a certified diver. You know you can get certified from any dive shop. But for training, there was when I started the, my company, there was no training whatsoever. The risks involved for diving would be, well, first major factor, actually the highest risk is golfers themselves, especially during the day. Because when you enter and you leave a water hole, you might get hit by a golf ball. Uh, the other major concerns are the irrigation systems and weeds. Those are the, you know, if you get caught up in the weeds, then you might panic, right? We got golf balls up to $30 a dozen. As cheap as 10 bucks a dozen. What's your $30 dozen? Uh, $30 a dozen balls are the Pro V1 golf ball. On average, a person, if they're serious and diving for golf balls, can make a healthy income. There's a lot of work, you know, there's a lot of commitment, and you can't, you can't make it overnight, but if you dedicate yourself, you can do very well. If you don't enjoy what you do, you're not putting 100%. And especially if you're an owner and operator, if your heart's not in it, you're not going to give top quality service. Most people, they, they dream about things, but they never act upon it. And I always took my uncle's favorite saying, nothing ventured, nothing gained. I remember when I told them I was going to die for golf balls, they laughed at me. And by the fifth year, they were saying, oh yeah, look what Mike does, you know. But if, if a person, if you know, you're sitting on your couch and you're always, you know, you brew up ideas and you never react upon it, you'll never know.